Checking with Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Center with a look ahead at a chilly Tuesday morning. Court? Kelly, that is right. You're going to want to bundle up and get ready for a much cooler start to the day this morning. I certainly needed the extra layer. More showers looking likely throughout the day today with most of them falling in the mountains and some in the foothills. Slight chance in some valley areas. Breezy winds then developing for Wednesday as that wet system exits our region, but we're also left with very frigid overnight low temperatures for the rest of this week in your forecast. As far as what's going on today, we still have the winter weather advisory in effect in areas of the foothills and northern Sierra through 10 p.m. tonight. An additional two to four inches of snowfall looking possible. Snow levels down to 2,000 feet on the east side of the valley, 1,500 feet or so on the west side of the valley in the northern mountains. So get ready. We have more snow on the way. This could lead to slick roads and low visibility at times. Moving forward, starting at 2 a.m. Wednesday morning, lasting through 9 a.m. Friday morning, we have a freeze warning. This is an upgrade from the freeze watch that was issued earlier this week. Chilly overnight low temperatures on tap, and they're going to get much colder than what we're seeing right now. And it is brisk for the start of your Tuesday. Low to mid 30s in the valley, 20s to low 30s in the foothills. We're seeing teens to 20s in our mountain zone. So you're going to want to bundle up on your way out the door. Winds mostly light early today. They're going to pick up a little bit this afternoon as that wet system starts to exit off to the east. And you can see I've been tracking some scattered snow showers, mostly in our mountain zones overnight. Not much actually hitting the ground at the moment. All of this from this low pressure area centered to our northeast driving that cooler air mass as well as that potential for more showers in today's forecast. So as you get a look at your hyperlocal future cast early to midday, not a whole lot going on and hitting the ground. But by around noon, we start to see showers resurging. Foothill and mountain zones look to be the best bet for showers with some sprinkle chances in the valley, mainly late this afternoon into this evening. And then the shower threat wraps up late tonight. We're going to be seeing dry weather with windy conditions Wednesday, Thursday, lighter winds, but staying sunny. Friday, still sunny and a little warmer. And then clouds increasing Saturday before the next system moves in on Sunday, bringing another chance for rain and snow to our region. So what's left from this system today? Well, it looks like about a tenth of an inch of rain in our higher elevations and a trace on the east side of the valley. One to around five inches of snowfall still possible in our mountain zones. Most areas in the one to two inch range today. Snow levels down to 2,000 feet. Going to see more chances for some scattered showers in the northern mountains with 40s for your highs today. 30s to 40s in the Sierra. Foothills in the 30s to 40s as well. And if you're in the valley today, it's mid 50s for your afternoon with that chance for mainly just some sprinkles late in the afternoon into the early evening. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Kelly, I want you to look at these overnight low temperatures. 20s through the rest of this week with low 30s on Saturday morning. Highs getting a little warmer by Friday with low to mid 60s. We'll have another chance for showers then returning heading into Sunday and that could persist into Monday of next week. That chance for showers will bring a little bit of a warm up for those overnight low temperatures.